Hi guys, so today's video is kind of a different video for me. I wanted to talk about it because I saw something on Twitter today that freaked me the fuck out. And for those of you who don't know, I am a huge conspiracy theorist, person, believer, whatever you want to call it. And I basically have been ever since I was in high school, freshman year. That's when people, or I don't know if it was freshman year, but it was when I was in high school, people started talking about um, the 9-11 conspiracy. And then after that girl, I've been Googling conspiracies every single night. First things first, I wanted to mention that this video definitely is inspired by Shane Dawson. Watch conspiracy videos before, but his are one of my favorites. And he was the actual person who tweeted about this that I'm talking about, or I'm going to talk about. So I definitely want to give him credit for not only like this type of video, because I'm pretty much doing the same thing, but also for the video topic, because I know he's probably gonna make a video about it in one of the future videos. Definitely was inspired by Shane. Um, but anyway, so what did Shane tweet out? Shane tweeted out that Mona Lisa has a Mandela effect. So if you don't want the, if you don't know what the Mandela effect is, I will, I'll put a screenshot right here of what like the definition is or whatever, because if I try to explain it freehand, then I'm gonna fuck it up. But basically, it's um, it was named after Nelson Mandela because a lot of people thought he died in jail. And everyone remembers him dying in jail, but he never actually died in jail. The Berenstein Bears, which let me put let me give my input about the Berenstein Bears. As soon I was like kind of iffy about this whole Mandela effect thing until oops, until the Berenstein Bears, like people started talking about that. You guys, I know for a fact that it was Berens Berenstein Bears or Berenstein Bears, however you want to say it. You know why? And I, I will put my life on this. When I moved to America, one of my neighbors, their last name had, I'm not going to say their last name, but it had Stein in it, spelled I think the same, or if not like the E and the I were switched around, but that's how I remembered the Berenstein Bears was because of my neighbors. I never knew, heard about them when I was in England and then when I moved back to America in 2003, that's how I remembered the Berenstein Bears was because of my neighbors. So don't tell me it was Berenstain because if it was Berenstain, I would have remembered it by like a stain or something, not, you know what I mean? So I definitely, after, after people started talking about that, I was like, okay, maybe shit's getting a little weird. Maybe like something's happening or whatever. But then Shane Dawson tweeted about the Mona Lisa involved with the Mandela effect or whatever. And I Googled it and I lost my fucking shit because apparently the Mona Lisa this entire time has had a little grin like this. Like she's sitting like, like a tiny little smirk or whatever. Don't fucking tell me that that's how it's always been, girl, because I literally remember the Mona Lisa sitting like this. Having like a blank expression. So I don't know how all of a sudden it's smirking in the picture because I remember the Mona Lisa having the ultimate bitch face goals, honey. And bitch face does not have a little smirk in it, girl. So, what the fuck? Like, and I even remember, like, I, I feel like those memes of the Mona Lisa with the blank expression where it was like before and after contouring, I feel like even in those memes, uh, Mona Lisa had no expression in her face. She was just sitting there like, so I have no idea what the fuck is going on, but that just scares the shit out of me. And I'm not even trying to be dramatic or anything, but I swear Mona Lisa never had a smirk on her face. And some people say that, um, like this person on Reddit was saying that maybe people thought that she wasn't smirking because some of the pictures we saw weren't as clear and as like defined as like the picture that was on Reddit or whatever. But even then, like, bitch, it must have been hella not detailed for you to not be able to notice a smirk. Like, I don't know. It's really bothering me though because I've just always known Mona Lisa having a bitch. Experience. 
expression. Smirking is not a bitch expression, honey. You crazy? That's so creepy. And then people were saying on that Reddit, like, they're smarter than you think. They, it's smiling because it, like, it knows that you're waking up. Like, girl, I do not need to listen to any of that before I go to bed at night. Like, scary. So, tell me what you guys think. Let me know if you... If you've always remembered the Mona Lisa smiling a little bit or if, you know, I'm crazy right now or whatever, but, or if you believe in any other Mandela effect instances like the Berenstein Bears or whatever, um, I love you guys. Let me, tweet me also if you want me to do more of these videos where I talk about like my own opinion, other theories or whatever, because these videos are not going to be in like educational. They're more going to be like me freaking out and giving my thoughts on it. So if you came to learn about the Mandela Effect, girl, you have another thing coming. Um, but yeah, I love you guys and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.